Why don't lions have cat pupils? Why do cuttlefish have W-shaped pupils? And why do other animals have other weird shapes of pupils? Let's find out. House cats are twilight hunters with vertically elongated pupils. In the dark, these pupils expand dramatically to capture available light. And in bright conditions, they shrink into slits. A vertical slit already has a long perimeter, so it would be easier for it to become much wider. Cats' pupils expand to a maximum area 135 times greater than their minimum area, whereas our pupils only expand and contract 15-fold. The vertical slit shape of a cat's pupils helps it judge precisely how far away its prey is. Here's how it works. In general, there are three main ways eyes can gauge distance. 1. Motion parallax, where distant objects appear to move more slowly than closer ones. For ambush predators like cats, motion parallax isn't useful because moving their heads could reveal their hiding spot to potential prey. 2. Binocular stereopsis. This occurs when two eyes send the brain slightly different images, which are then combined to create a three-dimensional view. Cats use this method combined with the next one. 3. Blur. When you focus on something, especially something close to you, objects nearer and farther from that thing appear blurry. For small predators, this effect is more significant because they are closer to their prey, resulting in a clearer difference in blurriness. In cameras, when the aperture is wide, things that are out of focus become blurrier, and when the aperture is narrow, the blur is reduced. The same applies to pupils. Wide pupils blur items that are out of focus. If they shrink into slits, the blur is still there for horizontal contours. But if they shrink into small circles, the blur is highly reduced. This is useful for small ambush predators like cats and foxes, as they use the gradient blur of the ground to precisely determine the distance to their target. This is why big cats such as lions and tigers don't have vertical pupils. Their eyes are far from the ground, and their prey is bigger and does not require as much precision in determining the distance. A different vision is provided by the horizontally elongated pupils of goats and many other grazing animals. Situated on the two sides of the head, these pupils offer a 320 to 340 degree view horizontally. This helps the goat to detect any approaching predator, while still having the front view to detect obstacles as it runs away. As the goat moves its head up and down, its eyes rotate automatically to keep the pupils aligned with the horizon at all times. Nocturnal geckos have wide pupils in the dark, but they shrink into slits with pinholes when there is much light. This protects the gecko's sensitive retina while it's basking during daytime. The multiple pinholes generate several images on the retina. The lens changes shape to turn them into one image, and the amount of that change enables the gecko to judge the distance. Some insects and crustaceans such as mantises, dragonflies, and mantis shrimps have pseudo-pupils, which means they are only optical illusions. A mantis, for example, has compound eyes composed of hundreds of light-sensing units. When some of these units are aligned with the axis along which you are viewing, they appear black because they're absorbing most of the light that comes in rays that are aligned to them. That's why these pseudo-pupils remain stationary until you move or the mantis moves. Now let's talk about cuttlefish eyes and their W-shaped pupils. A cuttlefish needs to keep an eye on the ground in order to mimic its patterns for camouflage. It also needs to see all sides to be aware of preys and predators. The W-shaped pupil allows it to receive visuals from the ground, side, front, back, and dorsal side. This shape also reduces glare from above, and in the dark it expands to a circular shape. Palace's cats are small ambush predators, yet they have round pupils instead of vertical slit ones. Scientists are not entirely sure why they have circular pupils, but the prevailing theory suggests that due to their varied territory, which includes deserts, plains, and mountains, they require the better overall vision that circular pupils provide for finding prey at different elevations and for keeping an eye on their predators, such as eagles, 